What's up? It's your boy Tariq Ali and welcome back to your boy's channel. How you doing? How you feeling? I hope you're feeling good. If okay is in the middle, I'm a little closer to the good side. Um, but I hope that you're feeling better than me and if you're not, it's gonna get better, I promise. Um, today's video is all about my hair and how much of a mess it looks right now. To be completely honest with you, I'm not that pressed to dye my hair, but I kinda need to bleach it right now because I have something to do in five weeks where my hair has to be fresh. And if you know, well, if you watch my other videos about bleaching my hair and cutting my hair, then you know that I bleach my hair once a month. It used to be four weeks, but now I do five weeks because every five weeks for me is kind of optimal. Like that's when my, when the blonde, like you see this, like the new growth's coming in. That's when when I cut my hair, all of the bleached hair, like the old hair comes out perfectly and it's the length that I like. That's just the best for me, it's different for everybody. I explained it in the other video. Today's video is just gonna be me trying a new color. Now. I love that quote, what is that quote, that phrase that says, um, if something is broke, isn't broken, don't try to fix it, or something like that, child. That's how I am with my platinum hair. I love my platinum hair. I've been platinum since 2017. Wow. I've been blonde for like four years, that's crazy. But yes, I've been blonde and platinum for a very long time, and I just love the way it looks. It's beautiful, it's ravishing, not to do my own horn, but look, I just love it. Okay, that's why I have it in the first place. I'm gonna do a different color today. I'm not really sure exactly what color I wanna do yet, but we're gonna try a different color today. And we're gonna see how that goes. And because I have nothing planned within this next month, I'm just like, hey, who cares? If it comes out good, good. If it doesn't, oh well. Y'all still gonna watch me, right? Please support me. Oh my God, I gotta pay my bills. If you know me, if you watch me, you know I cut my own hair. I cut my own eyebrows, well, do my own eyebrows. My own facial hair, like I, I just like to do everything myself. It's better for cost, spend less money, and because, I don't know, I don't have to wait for other people or make appointments. In this video, I'm not really gonna show you all of the details of bleaching my hair. Like I said before, I've done that video already, so if you wanna watch that, the links will be up here. So, I'm about to go cut my hair right now, bleach it once, and while I'm bleaching, I'm gonna be doing work, um, and then I have to go run some errands. I'm gonna go get the hair dye, and then I'm gonna come back, and yeah. But yes, let me go ahead and get started. Go in the bathroom and cut my hair. That takes like 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Y'all wanna hear a bleaching horror story before <laughs> I start cutting my hair? <laughs> so there was this one time that I was bleaching my hair, right? I was putting bleach in my hair, and um, I had accidentally dropped some of the bleach into my eye, and I went crazy. Like, I was like, oh my gosh. And then I immediately put my head under the faucet, like under the bathroom sink, and just let the water stream into my eye, trying to get it out of my eye. Now look, I was a bio major in, um, you don't even need to be a bio major in college. You know this in high school. You know like in those science classes, they have the eye rinses. I, my instinct just immediately went to eye rinse, eye rinse, eye rinse. So I put my freaking face under the uh, faucet and just let it like go in my eye to get the bleach out of my eye, right? And I'm thinking I'm gonna be okay, you know, like, I'm like, okay, I dropped it in my eye, I washed it out, I'm gonna be good. Like the pain went away, it wasn't burning anymore. It was red for like a good 30 minutes, but I don't know, it, I was good. But the next morning I woke up in so much pain. So the same day that I bleached my hair, I went to the club that night, right? And I wore my contacts that night. So I, when I came home from the club, you know, when you come home from the club, you be drunk, you know, I was drunk girl. I remember I thought I took out my contacts, but I woke up with so much pain in my eye. And so I was like, damn, I left my contacts in my eye because if you wear contacts, you know, if you wear your contacts overnight, when you wake up, it's like really dry and it's like fucking up your eyes. So I'm thinking I'm having pain in my eye because I left the contacts in my eye. And so I go to urgent care and I tell them, they're like, what's the problem? I said, oh my gosh, my contact went behind my eye. Like, I don't know how, but I slept with my contact in and it went behind my eye. And so they was like, oh my gosh, okay. So they're doing these tests. They're trying to get, they're like putting air in my eye. They're trying to like find the contact. And they're like, we don't think there's a contact in there. I was like, really? That's the, I don't know. Come to find out, y'all, long story short, I got an eye infection. <laughs> I got an eye infection and I'm not really sure, I don't think it's from the bleach. Look, hear me out, okay? I'm a bio major, but look, I, I'm not no doctor or anything, okay? But I don't think that I got an infection from the actual bleach. I thought I got an infection from the faucet water because it's like, you know, come on, it's from the city. Like, that stuff has like 
uh, like uh, sediments and actual like fluorine and shit in it. I, so I thought it was the faucet water rather than it being the bleach. But the urgent care doctor didn't have no answers. They were just like, look, we just know you got an infection. Take these goddamn eye drops. So long story short, kids, when you bleach your hair, be very careful. Put your hand over your eye. <laughs> and so now I be scared every time I do this, every time I put bleach in my hair now and I wear gloves and yeah, cause that was a horrible experience. It was crazy. But yes, let me go ahead and cut my hair. <laughs> What's up guys? So it is Sunday. Um, I dyed my hair on, what day was it? I think it was a Friday. I think it was Friday that I started dyeing my hair. Hold on. I dyed my hair on Thursday. Oh my gosh, oof. If you've watched my other videos about my hair, my bleaching routine, then you know that I bleach my hair twice to get this platinum color. Now, starting this video off on Thursday, I did want to try a new color. Um, I bleached my hair and then I kinda got cold feet and I was a little scared. So I wasn't gonna dye it another color, like I was just gonna scrap this video and be like, nah, I'm not doing that no more. Um, but I was like, so I bleached my hair a second time. So that's why like I'm here at the platinum. Otherwise I would've just went straight to the color um, because I don't need to go this light to get to another color. But I was like, you know what, Tariq, don't do this. Try to do something new. If you don't like it, it's just hair. It only takes five weeks for it to grow back, for you to go back blonde. You can be whatever you want to be. At that point, I had already bleached it twice. I'm here. This is platinum. It, you, you know this color. This is my normal color. It's not like styled. I just bleached it and I didn't do anything to it. Well, once I decided that I was going to go ahead and do the color anyways, I was like, okay, let me wait a good two days. Because after bleaching my hair for what is it three hours if it's an hour and a half hour and a half yeah for three hours um past two days my head is a little tender after those two days because it's like look i just bleached my hair for a long time so even though i did decide like i was going to do the color um i thought it was smart for me to wait a couple days where my hair didn't feel sensitive um because honestly the past two days my hair like every time i bleach my hair it doesn't feel like sensitive like you do this and I'm like, ah, it's not like that. It's just like I can just feel that my hair is breathe, like my follicles, like it's it's breathing. Okay, let her breathe. So I let her breathe for a couple of days. It is Sunday now. Um, so that means the last time I bleached was on Friday. So I waited two days and my hair isn't, um, my head isn't as tender as it was two days ago. So it's not as like sensitive, like I can scratch it and it feels okay. Um, I could put hot water on my head and it feels okay. You know when you first bleach your hair and you usually wash it with cold water because your hair is a little hot. Um, but yeah, so now I got this color. I was going to do this 8N Demi from Ion. I don't know. Uh, I was going to use this color, but then I saw this other color that was, um, I actually got this a couple weeks, like, a couple months ago because I actually did want to try another color but I didn't follow through with it so I already had this but I went back to the beauty supply just to look at some other colors and I really like this inspired by nature it's by Ion as well but it's the 7G medium honey blonde I don't know I just liked how there's like a blonde undertone overtone look I don't I don't know hair okay I don't know I just like how the shine of the brown is still blonde because one thing, I love my blonde. I just love the yellow platinum blonde tint to anything. Um, it just goes well with my skin, it looks good. So this brown looked very promising to me. It looks very cute. I feel like it would look good on my skin. It also, it may honestly melt with my skin and that's a, that can be a good and a bad thing. We'll see. I'm, I'm honestly here just to see what it looks like, but I don't know. I decided to go with that color. So today we're gonna be using the Inspired by Nature Ion medium honey blonde 7g now on the back the instructions says um the different volumes you can use i process my hair a lot and i'm afraid if i use a high volume that it's going to fall out um i'm actually afraid that my hair will fall out doing any of the volumes honestly and i'm, I'm prepared for that i'm okay with my hair falling out i can go bald and let it grow back Th that would be a moment you know i'm okay with that oh also this dye is ammonium free and ppd free okay i made sure whatever dye i got did not have any ammonium um or ppd because those are the things that make you look like i said i'm not a hairstylist i keep telling y'all that okay don't drag me you know it's always the hairstylists that come in the comments telling me what i did wrong i'm sure i did a lot wrong okay but i know the ammonium is usually what makes your hair fall out and your hair burn or something like that girl look something like that okay you either want to get something temporary like oh uh what is it 
uh, like a washout dye, something like that. One that fades over time. You don't want to get a permanent one with ammonium and stuff, girl, because it's going to make your hair fall out. So I got this one because it's gluten-free, vegan, ammonium-free, PBD-free, 100 gray, look, cruelty-free, all, everything free. You know, so I don't feel like it'll hurt me that much. What I'm scared about is the developer that I have to mix it with. Okay, that's what I'm scared about. But we should be fine. And if not, oh well. Um, but honestly, I don't even need the 40 volume or any high volume because I'm already at platinum. Like this is white. It's not gonna take that much for my hair to get to this color. So um, I would like to use a 10 volume to be very safe, but I don't feel like going to the beauty supply. So I will be using the 20 volume because that's all that I have. Um, and yeah, if my hair falls out, then my hair falls out, girl. I'm okay with, look. Okay, so I lied. I do have 10 developers, so I'm gonna be using this. Okay, so hey guys, so I did my hair and I styled it and I put my do-rag on, you know the routine, but I have not seen it yet. So I liked the color when I finished it and everything, like it looked nice, it was cute, like it looked, you know, I liked it. But I styled it and this is how I wear my hair. So if I don't like it, like after I take this do-rag off, oh well, we gonna live with it, we gonna make it work. I wanted to get on camera me like, taking my do-rag off for the first time and seeing it and my reaction. So hopefully I like it. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Take it off this way. <laughs> it did it again, hold on. Let me see, let me. See, I hate that, like, this is why every time I do a color, every time I do a color, I don't know the front doesn't die. I don't know why it does that. Okay y'all, so I'm realizing that the reason it looked like this, like real ashy, that's the eco. Y'all know how I styled my hair with eco? I guess I didn't see it before because my hair was platinum. But now that it's a different color and it's not platinum, you can see the white residue of the eco. Cause that's not cute. Oh, hold on now. Hold on now. Okay, so I put on my gold jewelry cause she always makes the hair look good. But still, I, I tried to fix it. I wiped off the eco gel and I put something else that doesn't like have residue. When I was cutting my hair, I was in a rush. So I did cut myself with the clippers right here. That'll go away in a couple of days, no worries. But I like it, I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I am gonna film in the daytime so that I can see what it looks like in the sun, what it looks like in pictures, what it looks like on camera in the daytime. What's up guys? Okay, this is way better. Okay, yeah, okay. What's up y'all? I am back and I am in a good mood. I'm in a very good mood. If you watch my weekly vlogs, um, you'll see why I'm such in a good mood. I got acupuncture and I got Reiki massage and I got an adjustment at the chiropractor like whew, I am feeling like really good, but that's not the point of this video. Okay, the point of this video is my hair Okay, look when I first got it done when I first did it um, I wasn't sold only cuz like I think when you've had the same hair for a very long time It is gonna take some time to get used to something different now my platinum is a showstopper. It really is like it's I don't know platinum on black boys is just beautiful on black skin is beautiful So at first it wasn't like oh to me, you know, like it didn't pop out But I will say I actually really love this color on my skin What I didn't like about it when I first got it was the hair color is very close to my skin color It kind of melts together like you can't really see where my hairline starts a little bit I'm looking on this little monitor right now, so I'll, I, it may look better on camera. It does look better now in person, but when I first took off the do-rag and I first saw it, that was my initial reaction. Overall, I really love this color, and it really grew on me in just 24 hours. It's been a day since I dyed it, um, and you know, you, you really have to get used to a new hairstyle. You gotta wear it out. You gotta see it in different lights, like on a rainy day, a sunny day. You have to see it in the dark, during the day. You have to see it in different outfits, um, and I will say, 
this hair color actually does complement my skin um, and me. Like, I think it's cute. Like, I like it. I would consider doing a darker brown, like a dark brown. I don't know, but I just don't feel like it'll pop as much. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this hair color. Do you like it? Would you try it? Um, what other hair colors do you think will look really good on me? Let me know. Um, I'm going to be answering most questions on my Instagram about my hair because that's where I post pictures of myself and that's also like when I'm cutting my hair or doing my eyebrows, I usually show you guys or I go live or something. So make sure you go on my Instagram, follow me, and you turn on my live notifications, okay? Because a lot of times I get on live and people don't be knowing and I be like answering all y'all questions and I be talking to y'all and people be missing the live. So please make sure that you go on my page, you turn on the live notifications, and you support me. And yeah, let me know. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you do want to know my bleaching routine, my styling routine, that is in my old videos. You can go through my page and see those. Um, let me know if you like this color and what other colors you would like me to do. So everybody have a great day. And I'll see you soon. Will I see you soon? You'll see me soon. I don't know if I'm going to see you soon, but okay, you get the point. Okay, have a great day, guys.